All right, Brickyard, bringing you uh, today's workout. This is Tuesday, April 7th. Um, still trying to get some of these benchmarks in here. If you've got all the tools to be able to do it at home, fantastic. If not, we got some other scales for you. So this is gonna be Brickyard Gone Bad from home. Uh, what we're looking for here is five rounds for reps. The main goal is that you've got continuous work for the entire almost 30 minutes of this workout. Normally it starts off with a minute of wall balls. So if you have a medicine ball and a spot to throw it to, fantastic, go for it. If not, you're gonna do some kind of a thruster. A goblet thruster, whether you've got a dumbbell or a kettlebell, if you've got a medicine ball, you can do a thruster with that, any kind of heavy object. You got a minute as many as you can, you should be working for most of that minute. Next, you've got a minute of power cleans, and that's gonna be a power clean from the ground. If you've got a barbell, let's do it. Nice lightweight, typically RX is 75, 55, I believe. Um, but if you only have one object, just keep moving. That's really kind of the object of this, of this whole workout. After that, we got a minute of box jumps, jump on something. Uh, you can do tuck jumps also. We got a minute of push press. If you got a barbell, great. If not, you can do some one arm stuff. Uh, each each rep is going to count though. So if you've got a one armed dumbbell, it'll be one, two, you can switch, three, four, just keep steady working. Uh, and then you've got the last minute of work is either going to be on a rower for calories, on a bike for calories, or you can do burpees. Um, kind of rep wise, it'll work out pretty well. And then you get a minute of rest. So we're looking at one, two, three, four, five minutes of work, one minute of rest. And we got five rounds of that. Just kind of keep a running tally of what you're doing, right? You get through those thrusters or wall balls, maybe on number 15. Your first power clean should be 16, 17, 18. Just kind of keep it counting. Mark it down during that minute rest. All right, guys, next we got our warm up. I'll roll through it first and I'll show you everything. Get your heart rate up first, whether it's chase around a puppy, or a puppy. Ooh, the feature, the puppy. Ah, some jumping jacks, a quick little run. If you got a row or a bike, just get your heart rate up first. Going to a calf anchor stretch next. That's going to be a minute on each leg. So go back and forth in that bent leg, straight leg. Ten slow inchworms. Five, five second squat holds, and then something for shoulder and overhead. All right. So after you get your heart rate up, calf ankle stretch. We can go up against anything. We can do on a rig. Why? Straight leg, bent leg. All right, hang out for about a minute. Go back and forth as you need. A minute each leg there. Next, we're going into 10 slow. Oh, sorry, if you don't have something like this, right, you can do it right on the ground. Straight leg, bent leg. Next, we're going into 10 slow inchworms. All right, looking for hamstrings on this. I know. Relax. Now, straight legs. Back it up. Walk it back slow. Here we go. Everyone's excited. Five, five second squat holds. All right, so you can be up against anything. All right, you can easily grab a hold of something, get down into your squat, you can push a little bit side to side, knees out. Right, you can do it without. Really focusing knees out. Why? At least five of those five seconds each one. And then we got shoulders, something shoulders or overhead, because we got to get overhead for both the finish of the uh, goblet thruster or wall ball, and then our push press. All right, so some options could be, all right, we're trying to get behind the head and across your body. So you can grab a hold of something overhead. Pulling. All right, lots of different options there, guys. Just get something where you're overhead. 
guys, if there's any extra stretches you need, go for it. You know your body. Get all your stretches in. All right, guys, talking about movements here. Got Rachel here to help me. I've got some dogs here. They'll help or maybe not help so much. We'll figure that out as we go. Uh, first movement we've got is we've got to do what would be a wall ball, but we're going to do some kind of a goblet type thruster. So Rachel's going to use her dumbbell she's got here. She's going to take that dumbbell up by her just above her chest in her squat stance. She's going to go down to a squat, going to go down to a squat and drive and finish overhead. Show me two more. Squat, drive and finish overhead. One more time. Awesome. You can use just about anything, guys. Grab an object, grab a small furry pet if you want. A uh, ton of stuff you can use for any type. Again, lightweight is what we're looking for. Steady work. A lobster. Just a lobster for guys. Next one we've got is a power clean. Right? So you can use a barbell. We're just going to show that first. She's going to grab that barbell like the bottom of her deadlifts. Just up by her shins. and drive up to her front rack position. Let's show two more. Get a little closer together. Yes. Beautiful. Huh? All right, how do you not do one of these, Rachel? What would be a bad one? Oh no, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, guys, some other options. If you have one arm stuff, go ahead and put that down for me, kiddo. And if you've got a kettlebell, you can do this too. From the ground, you're going to drive up and then slide your hand right through that handle. To the ground, up. To the ground, up. Switch arms as frequently as you need. Switch hands and up. All right, each one's going to count as a rep. You can do it with a dumbbell too. All right, dumbbell from the ground. Drive to your front rack, elbow in front. Elbow in front, switch as you need. Again, this should be a light enough weight, you're moving nice and steady. Third movement now we've got is a box jump. Box jump. Two foot takeoff, gentle two foot landing, stand all the way up. Go ahead again. One more time. If you don't have butt. You can also step down if you don't want and to And you can down. step down if you don't want to jump down. Uh, if you don't have a box to jump on, tuck jumps. Let's see him. Jump tuck. Jump tuck. <laughs> jump tuck. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Jump tuck. At least she listens. That's good. All right. Fourth movement now. We've got a push press. If you still, if you still have that barbell, we can use a push press. Back to the bar. She's gonna take it up to her shoulders. And elbows up. And quick dip drive. Squeeze the belly as you get overhead. And again. One more time. We're gonna show we're gonna show some puppy push press. Puppy push press. Puppy. Push press. I know he looks very nice. So that's the fourth movement. Last movement in this guy's uh, would be typically a row. But if you don't have a rower, you got a bike, you can do that for calories. If you don't have any of that stuff, I know you can do burpees. So Rachel's gonna show us burpees now. I'm not gonna do it in the dog. So, so we came to find that the dogs were not helpful in this video, not even a little bit. Back up on the mat for me. So I can see all of you. All the way to the ground. Jump and clap. It's a party. Wonderful. And then you got a minute rest, guys. You got five, five rounds of that. It's a long one. It's almost 30 minutes. All right. Today's workout brought to you by the Matashek family and a couple of dogs. And Sarah's out there running around. <laughs> All right, guys, get after it. Ready? Three, two, one. Do it.